Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get right into your reading, Scorpio. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of August, the remaining of the month of August, 2020. All right. All right, so I see that for some of you guys, you may actually presently be dealing with a soulmate type of connection for some of you guys, especially those of you guys that have or are currently in a committed marriage uh, or a committed relationship. Um, what they're saying here is that it's very important to keep an open mind in regards to how we approach relationships. Um, so what I mean by that is balance is something that is very important and I feel that what spirit is trying to say here, especially those directly that are married or committed, what they're saying is that it is important to find the time to give each other the space to breathe. Now, what I mean by that is oftentimes when we get in relationships, we kind of forget about everyone else because <laughs> we're in that honeymoon phase, which is fine and dandy. But what they're saying here is that it's important to give each other room or space to breathe oftentimes when you want to have that person right next to you or everywhere you go they must follow or just not give each other the the space that you need as individuals oftentimes people grow tired of each other and that's when you have bickering that's when you have misunderstandings when you become irritable with the person so what they're saying is lose your grip right there scorpio <laughs> <laughs> those of you guys that are in a, in a long-term committed relationship i feel that giving each other the space or the room to breathe is going to renew both your energies and it's actually going to help or assist you in bringing this relationship bringing that person closer to you the more freedom you give someone um especially when you are in a healthy trusting relationship the more freedom you give them the the closer they gravitate towards you and i feel that for some of you guys uh that could be an issue like uh, over possessiveness or jealousy or that type of energy of course if they're giving you reasons to then obviously that's a different thing and you need to work on the trust regardless they have to earn your trust back and you have to learn to overcome what was done in the past or it's going to often come up as an issue because it's going to greatly affect the relationship. Now, for those of you guys that are currently single, what they're saying here is it is important to keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Sometimes what we like or what we are most attracted to is not the best thing for us. And I feel that you guys have a type. Uh, and what they're saying here is that you need to expand that type or expand your horizons when it comes to love when it comes to romance now they're saying here give a relationship a chance i feel that this has more to do with yourself like you're very closed off scorpio or you have been very closed off for quite a while and they're also saying to stay optimistic about your love life positive thinking and faith will bring you romance if you've been through a very trialing difficult situation in the past with the partner that really affected you greatly or impacted you or hurt you in a very strong way in a very difficult way and you're still healing from that it's absolutely normal uh, to be a bit closed off but what they're telling you is if in your heart your truest desire is to find a stable committed healthy relationship it's important to be mindful of what you're often thinking stop looking to the past or stop comparing people to the past or to a person from the past if they haven't done you any wrong. So what they're saying here is, again, the energy that you put out, that's exactly what you get in return. If you're scared of meeting someone that is going to cheat on you or that is going to mistreat you or that doesn't know what they want and uh, are scared of commitment, if that's something you really feel, uh, fear, sorry, uh, and you are open to finding love at this present time, you're often going to be attracting people that will do exactly that. Why? Because the universe doesn't understand that you say, I don't and I do want. Uh, the universe is just going to give to you what you put out, what you think about the most. So you got to let go of those fears. 
and again you do have soulmate connection coming through for some of you guys it's a new love new romance coming into your life actually take the time to get to know each other you have the getting to know each other card and this usually indicates to me people that usually rush to relationships what they're telling you is when this person comes in if those of you guys that may have recently found someone within the past week or uh, a new person that's going to be coming in take the time to get to know each other uh, really get to know each other don't rush into a relationship don't rush into uh, commitment don't rush into going to bed right away with them make them work for it really take your time in getting to know someone it's going to be worth the wait all right now i'm going to be pulling out two cards and these are the energies that are currently influencing or affecting you in the present time and we have mars action taking action uh, this is all to do with desire impulses courage sometimes when we are so broken or we've been through hell and back we close ourselves up because we are protecting ourselves, right? It's for our self-defense mechanism kicking in, and we just don't want to go through that hurt. But oftentimes, um, it takes strength in opening up and giving yourself or giving someone else an opportunity uh, to get to know you. It's, it's, it's vulnerability. Vulnerability is strength. So again, taking action when you feel that connection don't close yourself off don't feel like everyone that comes into your life has to prove to you uh, or they have to beg you to give them your attention it doesn't work that way they don't owe you anything if in the past you were treated or mistreated i should say that person is an ex-partner that's not a person that you just met or that you're going to be meeting it's a different person so you cannot have the same expectations oh they got to prove to me you know that they really want me in their life they got to prove to me they have to jump through hoops in order to get my attention like it doesn't work that way and when you often put that energy out again you're very guarded that's exactly what you're going to bring in you're going to bring in people that are extremely guarded so when it comes to the relationship itself no one really wants to commit because they don't know what they want so again taking action um taking action when it comes to connecting with someone or someone really interests you there's nothing wrong in knowing what you want and going after it and you you also have pluto which is your energy here transformation this is renewal inner resources basic instinct motivation personal power this is all to do with cycles death and rebirth so again there's a major transformation that's happening in your love life scorpio my suggestion is embrace it i hope you guys enjoyed this reading and we'll see each other soon bye